Hi, it's Mark again here to show you another quick tutorial. Um, this is just to give you a bit of a highlight on something called the increment snapping, which is a very useful tool, of both for precision and to, to make sure that when you're building th objects, you're fairly accurate with how big windows and doors are, where the walls are, um, when you're building roofs, etc. Um, also, um, it helps to give you a bit of an area to work with where you can move things out of the way and then move them back exactly in position without starting to get to a position where certain walls are slightly out and you have to do a lot of time wasting trying to get that back together again. So effectively, um, we'll just go for Control uh, shift k and left click to create an cube like so. Now I'm going to go up to here and show you that you've got at the moment one which is effectively one meter for the increment snapping. Now to use that, say for instance I wanted this to be bigger, at the moment it's a one meter cubed object. If I hold the control key down and left click with the mouse to highlight the arrow, out it comes a meter. And if I'd have done that by saying 0 0.5, it would have then come out half a meter, as you can see. I'm just going to control Z and put that back how it was, and that to one. Default is generally one meter, and then you can sort of do everything as a variation of that. Um, I'm not going to waste too much time here and get to the point which is effectively that if I wanted to, say, start uh, a building, I would go on to the scale tool and I would come down, holding the shift key this time down, making the wall a certain size. Now, if I held the shift key down again, it would make it like so, um, which is OK, but generally it's best to just bring it in like so without the shift key. Now, uh, from here I'm going to go back to the move tool and I'm just going to bring this down like so. Again, I'm not being 100% accurate here, it's just for demonstration purposes. Now, if I wanted to start manipulating, say, this wall, what would I do? Well, when you start moving this out, like so, it's a bit awkward. So I'd like to detach particular areas where I'm going to work on it. Say for instance, I want to put in doors and windows, etc. So um, if I go to extrude, sorry, not beg your pardon, not extrude, detach. I'm going to create a separate game object. You can uh, create a, what is known as a sub mesh, which is the same object. It will still say one object here, but it will be a small section of that object as a sub mesh. But I'm going to try it as a um, game object. Detach like so. Now we come back to here. We've got the move and it's at one meter. So if I kept that pressed down like so, it's a separate object and I just bring it out, say a couple of meters. Now I know it's a couple of meters and you can see it's a couple of meters because this section here for instance is about a meter so you can see that's about two meters. So if I wanted say for instance to put in a door I've got plenty of room to do this now. So control key down left click the lines whilst it's on the edge selection. Alt E and you've now got some lines, or one line I should say in this, but uh, I'm going to put a second one, so it's Alt E again, and because I've still got it on one meter, it's moving over too far. So if I go to 0 0.1 of this, I can then move that over 10 centimeters at a time. Now because of this 
you can see here that's at the wrong angle so I'm going to go over like so and oh dear it's gone too far this time so that suggests to me that I need to halve that so it's 0 0.05 which will be half of 10 centimeters so it's 5 centimeters left click with the control key down and then you've now got a straight line like so now I'm just going to create a line there and a line there again this is just for demo purposes just to show that you can make a door then when you're finished you can go back to here now it's good to name these things so you can name that house and you can name that left wall or whatever you want to you can rename it again at some other time but just so that you know what it is you're selecting whilst you're building go back to here again and you've got one meter so that you can then control left click come back one meter two meters and it's gone right back to the beginning where it was before you can see there's no lines there's no joins or anything or little gaps it's exactly precise and that's the important thing this is precision and also you can move things out of the way now you can also if you wanted to select this the house the whole thing now you could detach these other parts if you want but at the moment they're all one object and just untick that and if you wanted you could put that back where it was you can work on that and when you've finished I could put in a window or something else and then I could just tick and we're back again you can see that there's some things to do with that door so it's important to try and get to that to start doing that and this is a way to do it okay hopefully that's uh, useful um, and um, I shall obviously provide some more tutorials which might also enlarge upon this thank you